at which time we learn that Grandpa Joe has been freeloading off of Charlie's mom this entire time. He could have walked. He just gets right up out of bed and goes to escort Charlie to the chocolate factory. And then? And hijinks ensue. I don't want to ruin the movie. Oh, what does that mean? Hijinks ensue? Hijinks ensue. Like all the other kids other than Charlie. Oh, what are... is that? Hijinks? Yeah. Shenanigans? Nope. Oh, my gosh. No. John, That's a 70s thing for sure. John got a three on the verbal portion of the SAT. I didn't take the SAT. Joke's on you. Ugh. I took the ACT. I took And I both. did not do super well. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Is This For Kids? I am Jonathan Bearded Blubbins. I am Katie. This is Ruby. And we are about to talk about either part one, part two, or part three of our Wonka series. Wonkalicious. Wonkatastic. Wonk universe. <laughs> it's not better. Wonk discovery <laughs> zone. Um, we don't decide the order of these, but we're doing the new 2023 Wonka, the middle one with Johnny Depp, and the OG 1971. 1971. Yeah. Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Let me take you down like what it's like to be me for a quick second. Okay, because as much as I like to think that I'm a movie expert because I've seen and know and can quote so many movies, I'm really not. And I'm not a movie nerd when it comes to like, I don't know directors. I almost never know actors' names if they're not super famous um, because I just don't care. I just enjoy a good movie. Right. I recently found out that Mel Brooks is a genius and that I'm a huge fan of Mel Brooks. I know he has nothing to do really with the Wonka film. No. Okay. However, he is friends with and has done a lot with Gene Wilder. Yes. Who is in the Wonka that we're talking about today, the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Gene Wilder is in, this is all stuff I just learned from watching this movie, which I'm so glad I got to rewatch. Mm-hmm. He's in Young Frankenstein. Yes. He's in Robin Hood Men in Tights. Well, he's not in it, but he but Mel Brooks directed it, right? Right. And then Mel Brooks, uh, he did uh, Blazing Saddles. Yes. Gene Wilder's in Blazing Saddles. Mm-hmm. And so I'm putting this together and I'm like, oh my gosh, I like them both. A ton. And it's incredible. And he rocks. And I had no idea that that was him the first time I saw um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory when I was a kid. Oh. And so now as I rewatched Gene Wilder, I like the movie 10 times more than I did when I was a kid. Really? Yes. I, I don't know how you missed that it was Gene Wilder in the beginning. Because when I was 10, I didn't know who Gene Wilder was. He was just Willy Wonka. He was the only person who was like named on the, th- on the thing. Like the reason why the book is called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The 2005 movie was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The reason they called it Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was because the only star in the movie was Gene Wilder. So when he was famous, yeah. he was pretty famous? He was very famous. Back like when you were alive in the 70s, right? <sighs> no. Kidding. Kidding. Eat your lunch right out That's of the fridge. But now jump. I'm just a huge fan and I loved watching it and it was fun and it was super nostalgic. And then I got to thinking of like where I was when I first saw Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So that's my question for you today. Before we dive into this hmm. old classic and decide whether or not it's for kids. Hmm. Where were you when you saw the 1971 version of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? The f- Ooh. I, hmm, okay. I think if I'm remembering correctly, I was in my grandparents' basement. Every one of us was. Yeah. That's just what, because that's the only people you knew who had movies from the 1970s. Yeah. And that's all there was to do at grandma and grandpa's house. Yeah. And they were like, what do we have that's appropriate? Mm, no. Okay. Willie Wonka yes. and the Chocolate Factory. There you go. Not the James Bond movies. Not, which, which they also had. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And one of those has a very weird name. Uh huh. And, <laughs> You and your brother would sit there and be like, I, I, "Yeah, I was just like, wait, that has to be a horrible movie." And then I got older and realized that it really isn't. No, it's just, it's just the ow. name of a James Bond movie. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of octopodes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just had a, not, a lot of nostalgia when I rewatched this. So I was at my grandparents' house. Okay. My late nana and papa, who both passed in the last two years, which mm-hmm. is crazy to talk about and say now. Uh, but they lived very long, awesome, happy lives, and they're great people. They lived in Arizona, and when we went to their house, there was quite literally nothing to do except for swim and then watch old movies or play solitaire on my grandpa's computer. Right. Uh, he also had hearts, and we learned how to play that in Crazy Eights, which is a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> which is weird because all old people play hearts as well. And the yes. only thing, like immediately when someone says about playing hearts, the first thought that comes to my head is my grandma cheats at hearts because that's what my grandpa used to say every time. I won't play hearts with your grandmother. She, she cheats. cheats. Oh I don't know that she actually does, but my grandpa was insistent. I'm sure he wouldn't lie about his spouse. I don't know. My grandma would was very insistent. She does not cheat at heart. She's just very good at it. 
Well, that's probably that sounds more like it. <laughs> probably actually. Probably. Um, so that's so he had like this car collection that I always wanted to play with, but I couldn't. And now I own the cars. Now Aww. they're like in my stream room. They're very cool. Um, but so we just watched movies, and that's when I saw like all the Indiana Jones movies, all the Star Wars movies, some Star Trek, some John Wayne, a little bit of James Bond, yeah, and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And I remember watching it for the first time and just being like, "This, th- th- it's impossible that they made a really good colored movie like that's not in black and white in the '70s." It's true. Uh, I yeah. don't know when you think movies started to be in color. When it was like way the '60s, b- '70s. Uh, I think in the '60s ish. I had no idea. I just remember watching. It's, it, it's one of those movies where when you watch it, it just looks old, right? Yeah, the it Willy does. Wonka? It does have a very old vibe to it, for sure. Well, Ruby, you are our movie explainer. So give us the plot of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory from 1971. So the plot. But explain it like you're 80. Uh... <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> it's like, Ricketts? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what Ricketts is. A vitamin D deficiency, I think. Anyway, um, it's a story of... A young guy, Charlie Bucket. Charlie. Charlie Bucket, super poor. He's got both of his grandparents, uh, maternal and paternal grandparents, living with them, living in one bed because they're obviously all infirm. His mother's a washing woman. She takes in clothes to clean them, and she's trying to support her son and her parents and her parents-in-law, apparently. And um, and she's doing everything that she can to do right by Charlie, and he loves a good chocolate bar. So for a celebration, his grandparents get him a chocolate bar because Willy Wonka has put out six golden tickets, which will give the person who receives one a lifetime supply of chocolate and a tour of his chocolate factory. So it's the only thing Charlie Bucket wants in his whole life, and he doesn't get one on the first try, and he finds a dollar in the street and goes and buys himself another Wonka bar and ends up getting a golden ticket a golden ticket at which time we learn that grandpa joe has been freeloading off of charlie's mom this entire time he could have walked he just gets right up out of bed and goes to escort charlie to the chocolate factory and then and hijinks ensue i don't want to ruin the movie oh what does that mean hijinks ensue hijinks ensue like all the other kids other than charlie oh, what are... is that hijinks yeah shenanigans nope oh my gosh no John, That's a 70s thing for sure. John got a three on the verbal portion of the SAT. I didn't take the SAT. Joke's on you. Ugh, I took the ACT. I took them And I both. did not do super well. <laughs> <laughs> What's like average? Like 24? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got like 24. Are you serious? Because I took it like as an experiment in the seventh grade and I got a 19. <laughs> I took it as an experiment in the seventh grade and I got a 19. I think you get 15 points. All I know is that I 1,000% right. got like a 17 on the math. No, you didn't. I really did. No, it was really didn't. bad. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. But that's okay because yeah. college isn't for everyone. No, it's not. And definitely even though I not. did go and I did really well in college and got a master's. Yeah, I don't even have a bachelor's. So there <laughs> Weird we go. Weird flex. Yeah. You're the, you don't have a bachelor's degree. I do not. This is proof that you don't need college. Right? You do not need college unless we're sponsored by a college. <laughs> Could be you. <laughs> Looking for investors. Off. Anyway, all the kids in there. A bonita fish, big. What's a bonita fish? <laughs> Well, Dale, <laughs> they're what we call a trophy fish. So, yeah, they're pretty big. I mean, who is this guy? What's it's Step Brothers. Right We've already decided you what don't like happening? it and you think I'm a child for right liking Step Brothers. So, Wonka, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. All Charlie, the kids, all the kids that aren't Charlie, massive they're brats. They're horrible people. Horrible brats. Yeah. Bad habits. Watch too much TV. Demand things. Chew gum loudly. They are who their parents are. They are who their parents have encouraged them to be. Yeah, and who their parents are. No, because like. Mrs. TV doesn't watch a lot of TV, but she's sort of neglectful and allows him to watch a lot of TV. I wouldn't say that Violet's dad chews a lot of gum. You don't think so? I don't think so. But I'm, you don't think that they each have their own thing? Like her Bad mom parenting. Probably, her mom probably has something else she does too much of. Maybe. That's true. I think it's the, I think the general theme is that like they spoil the children. Yeah. They give the children whatever they want. Yes. And and children are just little tiny ids. They just walk around. And Gene Wilder is a perfect character. Yes. Super. He has zero flaws. I mean, he does yell at a child at the end, but other than that. <laughs> Do you feel like he treats his Oompa Loompas fairly? I have read the book, and so I would like to not wade into the Oompa Loompa territory at this okay. time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you uh, pleading the fifth? I would like to plead the fifth. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm currently watching Suits with Jody. Have you seen Suits? No. It's a pretty good show. Not for kids. Um, and You're I'm, so off I topic. feel I feel like I'm a lawyer now. <laughs> I bet you are. I really do. Yeah. I'm like objection all the time. Yeah. Um, not relevant. 
this entire conversation. Back to Willy Wonka. Uh. This movie, like I rewatched it. It was magical. It's awesome. All the brats learn incredible lessons. And I told my wife, I was like, we should watch this movie with the kids before we watch the prequel. Yes. So that they can learn like how not to be. Yes. And it will be like a really good parenting movie for them to not be brats. Don't you think? Uh, yeah. I mean, you want your child to grow up with at least a little bit of fear that if they are a spoiled brat, they may be dropped into a possibly lit incinerator shaft yes like that is something that should live in the back of your mind <laughs> That's, i think you're being serious <laughs> i am <laughs> um whether or not willy wonka and the chocolate factory is for kids i think i'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and say it's mandatory watching yeah for i think kids of all ages i think whenever your kid is able to sit through a non-cartoon movie this is a good one for him uh, the 1971 willy wonka and the chocolate factory they there's no swearing no sex no violence um no drugs, obviously. Not even any drinking. Um, so there's... Is there not any drinking in the beginning? I don't think so. Don't They're think too so. poor to drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't have any alcohol. So, no. I Like, the closest thing that you got is the soda pop thing, I think. But that's, yeah. that's it. So it's very, very good. It's good life lessons, great catchy songs that teach life lessons. It's good. It's a great yeah. movie. And one of the reasons we do this podcast, even though this is pretty like obvious, is that I have not seen this movie since I was like nine or 10. Yeah. So it's one of those movies where I was like, should I watch this with my kids? Probably not yet. I should check it out first. I did. I totally recommend it. You do not have to rewatch it if you don't want to until you rewatch it with your kids because it's a ton of fun. Yeah. It's not one of those movies that you're going to rewatch because you have fond memories from your childhood and then be like, oh, how did I miss that? And get all freaked out. You're not going to have that problem. There's yes. nothing hiding in there that's going to scare you. So check out Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with your kid. Spoiler alert, not going to tell you about the other two movies, but check out Wonka, a review of the new one in 2023, as well as our episode on the Johnny Depp version. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the name of that movie. The Johnny Depp version. The Johnny Depp version. Hey, you know what else they could check out? What? Our Patreon. We have a Patreon. We do. And there's so many fun things about it. Yes. Actually, this, uh, this most recent uh, recording here, we have conversation guides for the new Wonka movie. So if you bring your kid and you want to have some talks with them after it, here's some uh, just ways to start the conversation going to be listed in there. You can request movies. You get to join our Discord. There's like... Send us presents. Send us presents. Whatever you want to do. It's fantastic. It's yeah. great. You can find that at patreon.com slash is this for kids. You can. And every single week, we literally have meetings with our entire team and production team to figure out ways that we can make the Patreon even better and the show better. So thank you for participating. Check it out. Check out all of our social media. Look up is this for kids or ITFK anywhere or go to is this for kids.com to check out every single link to everything that we have. There's just so much media out there for parents to wade through. I'm Jonathan Beard of Blovins. I'm Katie, Mrs. Ruby. Let us help you figure out. Is this for kids? Is this for kids?